Jeff. Yes, Grant. What are we playing today? Today we are playing Borderlands, the pre-sequel. 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 Pre -sequel. Like a prequel? No, it's a pre-sequel. The pre. How many other games are there? There are two. Borderlands two One, Borderlands Two, so, Borderlands so the pre-sequel. There's three. So it's a. It should be a threequel. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. If it's okay. It's more of a more of a squeakquel actually, but three pre-sequel. Right. So, well, there was six okay. DLCs. There's six DLCs. Right. So if we go ahead and take that, and it's it's like point two three bonus because characters. it's got to come before the one, we right? Go to the pre, right? But you take that, and there's six yeah, carry times Borderlands that by one, six, and there's two four of those. characters per four, game. Okay, twenty eight. Divide that seven, by what? Seventeen. I think so. Is a just roll the game. I have no fucking clue what's going on. Borderlands Part Seventeen. Grant, are you ready for the Borderlands? I are you, yes. Do you know what the Borderlands is, Grant? No. Okay. Wait, is it that dude that wears goggles and it looks like Road Warrior? Uh, what? I don't know what Borderlands is. All right, everybody, welcome to Race Light. It's the dojo. I am Jeff. I'm Grant. Grant, we're we're playing Borderlands the pre sequel. We're, okay. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna I, we're gonna check out my other character here in the second part. But in the first part, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start this shit off from the very beginning. This is the third Borderlands game. Borderlands one, Borderlands two, Borderlands the pre sequel. And All right. um, I I, sw I swore there was like some Borderlands cover with some dude that kind of looked like. A squatting spider Jerusalem. Oh, okay. No, I know what you're talking about. It's one of the one yeah. of the crazy looking guys. One of like the uh, the psychos is what yeah, they call them in the I game. Guess. I I don't know what's going on. As far as what I've seen before in previews, it kind of looks like a giant game of capture the flag in uh, Road Warrior Land. Well, it's a first person game where you get this kind of like um, Diablo style loot and guns and stuff on this weird border planet. So. Mm. Oh, it's a border planet. Yeah. So aliens. What? Said we're our best that makes so these sense. are the characters that were in Borderlands 2, but they're the they're the actual Here's playable characters from now. the I'm first Borderlands game. Ah. Oh. If I don't like your answer, you will die. All right. And this lady, okay, you've never seen her before because she dies at the end of this one. She's from. She's one of the characters from this game. So this yeah. game Why? has four new characters. Okay. That is a long story. Okay. Uh, Megatron. What happened to Megatron? <gasps> Is that oh, General Knox. Did you see that uh, Iron Fist have with have a dragon on his arm? Uh, nope. Programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. Hunt a vault. Come to the moon, they said. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon. So, yeah, this being a, a prequel, it's interesting that, like, um, the... Violence. One of the main characters here is actually the bad guy from Borderlands 2 before he turned uh, terrible and bad. Okay. That's him, him right there. Yeah. He looks evil. Look yeah. at the lightning coming out of him. In Borderlands, I don't know if they explained it in this one, but in Borderlands 2, he's got like another face stapled over his face, like Lecter style. Eww. It's pretty crazy. That's pretty gross. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be... Yep. Most of the Borderlands, I think they all start... No, the first one started on a bus. This one starts on a bus. Uh, on a bus. <laughs> These guys, they seem like they're having a good time. They seem like nice people, good people that you'd want to invite over for dinner, right? They have the credits on the bus. That's cool. Yeah. These these looking guys, guys kind of look like this. This, this whole thing is Road Warrior. It's yep. Thunderdome. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what they're doing here. Oh, shit. It's fucking. Oh, they're going to rob it. They're going to rob a spaceship with yep. a bus. That's pretty That's pretty audacious. It's pretty fast and furious right here. Yep. All right, let's go, bro. These guys are so dirty. <laughs> that is a giant ass rocket launcher. Oh, it's like a okay. So baths and hygiene in the in post apocalyptic places. You know, this one really reminds me of for some reason. Grant is the intro to the uh, Rock Band and Rock Band Two. You remember those? <laughs> like the guy driving on the car, singing on top of the car. Uh, yeah, I guess a bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. It's like a uh, Teen Wolf again. Teen Wolf. Dancing on top of the van. Oh, right, right. So we're going up to the... We're going to the space station. The space station. I don't know what what's... It's supposed to be a giant H. The pre-sequel. Yep. So we got to decide what character we want to be. <sighs> uh, okay. We got these four Wolverine. guys. Wolverine, right? Hugh Jackman. Yeah, we got Hugh Jackman. I don't know. And this entire game is about having, like, tons of guns. I don't know why these guys think that they're going to get anywhere with a saw blade on a stick. He chose poorly. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Is the enforcer. Mm -hmm. 
unnecessary flip that she did there. Yep. Oh, shit, she's Captain America! Captain America. Captain America. Yeah, Wolverine, Captain America. Wolverine, okay, so this is the Avengers. Athena. Athena. Okay. This is the character right, that I was right, playing. Right. Um, I don't know who's in a cowboy hat. Um, Jonah Hex, maybe? Uh, is that Marvel? DC or is that Marvel? <laughs> I think it's, it's Marvel, right? Nisha. Uh, I think DC? it's DC. I think it's DC. I don't know. And then Claptrap. <laughs> Claptrap. Orko. Claptrap is the crazy ass robot that's in the other games. Um, <laughs> Claptrap, okay. I think we should play as Claptrap just because. Let's be, let's be Claptrap. Seems a little bizarre. The Lost Everything Legion. Claptrap, isn't that like a name for a vagina? What? No. no. <laughs> is it? I thought that was like. Just uh, a, if it has the clap, I suppose. <laughs> I, I thought it was just a you. Well, shit, is, they got the, so is Asura down there? Is he <laughs> yeah, he's blowing shit up again. Oh, uh, wait, what is he giving him a, is that a... That's oral. Okay, I was going to say, is that like a hip hug or is there something a slightly different? He's going down going on a clap trap. Why is it all turning red here? Are they <laughs> crashing? Shit went down, I guess they... Why are they crashing? I don't, Did dying. I miss that part where... Something blew up. They set the shuttle to auto crash? <laughs> That's how they always land on the planet. They all seem actually marvelously okay with this particular decision. I think I would be... You should have at least one of them screaming and shitting themselves, because that would be <laughs> what I would be doing. Boom! Uh, uh, they blew up. All right, they blew up. Game's over. Uh, this is well worth $60. Yeah, jeez. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I made that joke already once this week. We need another pre-sequel. Yeah, the pre, the pre pre sequel And so, um, all right, oh. so here we go. Choose a class. So we've go got... That rusty old claptrap. Athena, Wilhelm... So I, I swear that was like an Arrested Development joke. Something about her rusty old, no one wants to go in that musty old claptrap. Oh, well, I think that's, I mean, claptrap, as far as I understand, is just a euphemism for some, like, broken down machinery or something like that. Uh. All right, let's, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do claptrap. Uh, so each one of them has, like, a sub-skill. Okay. So Wilhelm calls the little drones out to fight for him. And then hers, I, I played her briefly, and hers... She basically just auto aims and shoots stuff. It's pretty cool. Ah, quick uh, shot. I don't know what claptrap is going to be, but it's a vault hunter. It said. So wait, can we put different heads on the claptrap? Oh shit! Sweet. Is that a that's a trash can? He's a, he's a tonk. <laughs> okay. Gyro. Uh, I don't know. I can't see what that is. If we could zoom out. It might be kind of cool. No, nope, can't zoom out. Yeah. So I think we're just we'll go with classic. Let's go classic. And then let's see what we got. Oh, we got all these different colors. Oh, sweet. To pick from. I still think we should go with classic. You think? Uh, I like the I like the old yellow claptrap. Okay. Fine by me. Factory default. Claptrap. All right, let's do this. Yes. Oops, you nearly chose to play as Claptrap. Close one. I know you didn't mean that, did you? <laughs> wow, <laughs> damn. Wait, hold on. You've met Claptrap, right? <laughs> yep, yep. You've, he you've <laughs> heard about his weird action skill, right? This is really, really it's what you really want? It's really discouraging. All right, let's, let's do this. <sighs> oh, man. Yep. So the other day, we, uh, or I guess our last week's video, mm -hmm. um, it went up initially without the b the background video game audio. Oh yeah, and everyone said that we sound really awkward just us talking. Oh really? <laughs> well, not everyone. One person, one person. Which in comments world for us guys means everyone. Yeah. If one person says something negative about us, everyone's out to get us. Also. Oh shit! Oh shit! We got ten moonstones. Be nice to us. Uh. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're going after that other robot. We got a we got a brand new. Holy shit! We got. Okay, what is this? Angry TMP and the Top Notch Special. Do that Top Notch Special. We're going to go with this one just in case. And okay. then if, I think that... Oh, the other ones are equipped. Right. I think that because we... Okay, so let's see what... Holy moly. This is the skill tree for Claptrap. Let's see what Claptrap's... Okay. Increases status effect chance dealing status effect damage to enemies grants stacks of maniacal laughter. You and your pals gain health regeneration for each stack. The lower your health, the greater the health regeneration each stack lasts for a few seconds. Okay, so that's his special... Oh, no, here this is a special. So he laughs and it heals people? No, 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 no. This is his actual special oh, attack. Okay. Uh, it will analyze the situation, determine which vault hunter would do the best job, and then load an action package, allowing Claptrap to fight in that manner for a short period of time. It also gives you full health and health regeneration. It's still in beta. Okay, I have no idea what the fuck that means. So you means. can kind of transform into any of the other people as you need? 
Yeah, apparently, Albion. yeah. Uh, and then cool. we got some. We got some. Well, it's a. It's got a cooldown thing. Uh, let's do that one. And I don't know what this is. So You're as you do stuff, stuff, as you do stuff in the game, these challenges, right? Yeah. Perform these things. You get these tokens that you can then add to like your just stats. So just maximum health is plus 1.0 by default, but then you get 1.7. So the longer that you play the game, the better. It's What's a pretty it? basic, simple game here. Isn't yeah, it? you know, it doesn't require all that much. Nothing to it. You can use it by character. Why is my nose waiting? Okay. Too much thought for the day. All right, let's let's get the show on the road, let's Grant. Go. Boom. Let's get some ammo here. As far Oop. as I know, Oop. you walk around, you shoot stuff. Yes. The biggest thing is that the the weapons that you pick up are like Diablo style loot, so they all ah. have different status effects and different um, different things. Is it that randomized? Happen. Yes. Ah. So you'll get like guns that have poison or guns that have. So occasionally you can get like a really good level early level weapon. That like helps you level up faster. Yeah. Well, I think some of the I don't know if any of them have XP boosts on Super them. Super rare. Let's stuff. see here. So we're fighting the Lost Legion. Oh, motherfuckers! Oh shit! What was that? What do you think of the animation that has like these heavy lines around everything? Oh, the the like weird uh, cell shaded thing. Yeah, it kind of looks cell shaded. Okay, this is, is cool. Cell shaded? It's not cell shaded, right? You you probably call it cell shaded. So for this particular gun, like all the guns in Borderlands do different things. So I don't know if you've been noticing, but for this particular gun, when you reload it, he just throws the gun at the... He just throws oh, it away. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get in here. Come on, motherfucker. Where'd you go? Oh, what? He jumped up there? I thought he hid behind the wall. Yeah, me too. Bam! I, like I don't... how he just throws the gun. Yeah. Final killing blow. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can hit somebody with it. Here's what. Here's a guy. Come back here, motherfucker. Okay. Throw a gun at him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Handsome Jack loves claptrap. Wait, is this claptrap or are we claptrap? Or they're all claptrap? We're claptrap. Yeah. Then who's this guy? Because he looks and talks exactly like us. That's clap tap or something. What do they say on him? I don't know. Oh, clap. Well, CL four TP. I think it's the same as us, right? Eat four gun, four bitch! <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like I only have to shoot like half a magazine and then just throw the gun at them. So these are all robots we're fighting against? No, these are like space marines of some oh, sort. Oh, they explode. Well, that's Seems because like I keep a flaw in their spacesuit. Keep throwing my exploding gun at them. All right, so there's handsome Jack. He makes an appearance in Borderlands One. Two. Two. He's the main antagonist in Borderlands 2. He's an asshole, but I think he's really funny. Like, he, he gets a diamond horse early on in the game. He's fighting he really slowly. Decides to name Butt Stallion, and then he keeps talking about it over the radio. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a really juvenile sense of humor, but I like him. Maybe that says something about me. Maybe that says something about Jack. You're very immature. That's that's, that's what, what it, it is. So we're going to try and save Handsome Jack. That's right. Damn, I really like this gun. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, wait, what is just that? Just for the throwing aspect. Yeah, just for the throws. Wee! Ah, uh, missed. Come here, jerks. I don't even have a shield yet. Oh, what's this music? It's like Airwolf or something. Is it? Is it like Airwolf? <laughs> oh, shit, I got set on fire. And I'm out of ammo. Fuck. Okay, we're going to use this one. No, use the other one. kind of like the sound of the music. Oh, fuck. We're dying, Grant. Oh, uh, what's my... Hit him with your little clap arm. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck. It's kind of sort of this uh, western style here, too, with a six-shooter like that. Oh, shit. So when you die in Borderlands, you get one more shot. To, uh, if you kill somebody before you die, you get your second win. Oh, that's cool. Where's... God damn, there are a lot of these motherfuckers. Saving grace. Oh, this thing. Okay. Does it reheal your life all the way again? No, 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 no. You're at 64. Okay. Uh, but I, I, when you, when these guys drop, they drop little um, uh, red things that, uh, that give you more life. All right. How many shots do you get in your second one? Just one shot? No, you basically, it's a little meter that counts down. Oh, okay. I'll just bleed over here internally for a while. God damn it, Jack! Shut up. Yeah, yeah, are you sure yeah, his name no, isn't Whiny Bitch Jack? <laughs> Get up, bro. He needs you to heal him. 
Oh, what was that? Uh, uh, was that a lightsaber? See. No, it was another gun. Uh, oh, I need level two. Uh, Damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and can you upgrade? Swap this out for the moment. All right, all right, Jack, just shut up. Get your favorite gun back. Mm -hmm. Well, I was out of ammo for it. There we go. Leveled up. There we go. Now you can use that other gun. Yep. Holy crap! You saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Heart's bound. He's so nice. I wonder what happened to him. Kind of fun, actually. Look, these crazy bastards attacked Helios. You know what happened to him, didn't don't you? I do I don't. Oh. I have no idea. He's like such a jerk off. He's the like I said, he's the primary antagonist in the first in the in the second game. Is he that handsome in the second game? Or yeah, Well, it's one? like he's got um he's like in uh the the Joker. He's got like a face that looks like that face, but it's like stapled on over his face. Ah. Okay. We got here, and he becomes a bad guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wonder. I mean, I'm sure that that'll be one of the things. Because in the in the second one, uh, like the people that are interrogating, you remember the beginning of the game, right? Where the people are interrogating that lady, and she's like um, telling them a story about ha Handsome Jack, and he's a hero, and they're all just like, "What are you talking about? He's like the biggest asshole." Yeah. <laughs> The only problem that I have with Borderlands is that a lot of times it gets just like really repetitive over time. All right. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on. Let me uh let me put that other gun in here for this one. It just seems seems so complicated every time I see those screens. Yeah, I mean they're the same for all three games, so I think I'm I'm kind of used to them by now. Yeah, they're really not that difficult. One's just upgrade, one's inventory, and then one's uh. uh and you already map. familiarized yourself with this, so. It's exactly the same as Borderlands 2. So that's one of the things I think some people were a little upset about with this particular game was that um, it, the same? it's very similar to the last game. Uh, the sec the Borderlands 2 really did a lot, uh, did a fair amount of upgrading on the first one, and this one I feel like is just very, very similar. Have you picked up anything else cool yet? Gun-wise? Anything-wise. Do you get uh, armor? Well, I have shields now. Shields? Oh, son, son of a... Son of a taint. <laughs> Son of a taint. Son of man. a taint. Oh, no. They're blowing up our ships, Grant. Dude, Fucking I want one boys. of those. Hey, it's that colonel. Execute plan to shoot that chick in the head. Hello, Jack. Whoa, what's going on with their eyes? Colonel Zar Zarpadoo? Colonel T. Zarpadoo. Yeah, that Colonel T. Zarpadoo. That doesn't really seem... Ooh, wait, who is this motherfucker? Boop, 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 boop. What? Yeah, Neo? I've, I've, no, that's like a... Bug, oh! <laughs> it's Prince. Yeah, I think that was it said it was Prince. Yep. Awesome. So Gundam and Prince versus Claptrap and Handsome Jack. That's not really a very fair, uh, not really a very fair fight. Yeah, Prince wins. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Prince always checks. wins. Fucking Prince, that game. guy. What the heck was that? Creature? Makes me want to become a Jehovah's uh, no Witness. Idea. Yeah. No. <laughs> What does he say? What does he the say at the end of the uh, Dave Chappelle sketch? Where blast he's is bla yeah. Something about blasts, bitches. What? Hmm. Is that Tassiter? Yep. Man, I already thought uh, Handsome Jack had a long face. I get the impression that Tassiter that's looks like Hillary Swank. I get the impression that that's, Tass that that's Handsome Jack's boss. Oh, shit. So does... Wait, Claptrap just throws every gun? That's his boss? Maybe it's his dad. Maybe so. Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe he is. He's calling him John instead of Jack. I don't know. I guess I could just be contempt. So the whole game takes place on this... John instead of Jack? ...moon down here. Yeah, because his name is Jack, and he was just like, we'll speak again, John. Your name isn't worth me knowing. Urgh. Damn it! My throw, my gun throw thing isn't really doing as much. I want. I wonder if that's Claptrap special powers throwing the gun like that. Urgh. Okay, fine. Let's get out. Cause it, like it, I find it hard to believe that both of these guns that I've got were both set to throwing reload explosion things. Urgh. Hmm. I don't know, man. A secondary set superpower? Maybe. 
I don't know. Here, let me, uh, let's see. Let me go into this and see. What do we got? Explodes like a grenade when reloaded. Uh, explodes like a grenade when reloaded. Okay, no, totally. Yeah, that's just, each one of these guns has that as a special effect. Huh. So. All right. Yeah, I don't, uh, as far as we talked before about cell shading, I'm yeah. generally not a huge fan of it. Like, I think that this game would probably, I would, I would like the aesthetic of it a little bit more if it were just, if it didn't have all the hard lines and stuff on it. I think it only starts looking weird in the, the background areas. Yeah. When it, it condenses, it gets a little bit Bass. denser. I don't know if I care for it. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that one. Uh. Do you end up getting one? I, I was like, it's different when you're a robot. I was like, oh, you ain't get one of those suits? Those little mech warrior suits? But I guess not. You're a robot. You already have one. No, I think in uh, in the last game, there was a class that was added like later on called the Mechromancer um, that yeah. has a robot that you can summon. Ah. But uh, I don't know. So do we know what we're doing exactly aside from saving this dude? We're trying to. He okay. The vault hunters are mercenaries. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's uh, in Borderlands. Uh, there are vaults and they're full of like ancient technology, and they have vault hunters that are like these mercenaries that go out to try to find them and make their fortune. Right? Star Lord, gotcha. Right, Star Lord, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Just like Star Lord. Um, so Handsome Jack has hired us, our vault hunter, to help him get off the station because it's being okay. assaulted. Well, uh by these crazy military people led by uh, Colonel fucking Violet Eyes or whatever. Okay. And that intro we saw was actually uh, the ending? No. The intro, that intro was the Vault Hunters. Okay, well, there were two parts to it. We crashed onto here in right. the spaceship. We were supposed to be coming up here to answer his call, right? But obviously a bunch of psychos tried to jack our ship on the way up there so uh, okay, okay, okay. then we ended up crashing i'm on board now I yeah get it. all right a little slow uh, sorry audience uh, damn i hate being set on fire grant i'm really just not a fan visibility. oh and you know just being on fire sucks being on fire is uh, would you ever take is there how much for you to take the fire challenge grant we need to do a fundraiser oh Finally, okay. What all do I have to do? You just have to set yourself on fire. Anywhere? Like my pants or? You know, like cover air? yourself in accelerant, I guess. Um, okay, so now we can see what this action skill does. All right. Yeah, I don't like donating to causes, I guess, in that case. Yeah. I had a bad experience with the, the ALS. Oh, really? So. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. All right, I really want to see what this Claptrap EXE thing does, but I need to get some enemies. Oh, God damn it. You mean I got to destroy those guys first? Um, yeah, but near as I could tell, it's like people were just doing it in the shower for when it in inevitably just went horrifically wrong, and then they had to try to, like, put themselves out. What? What are you talking about, people? The fire challenge. No one actually did a fire challenge. No, this, this totally was a thing. No, for, it was For not. a while. No, it totally was. Or at least it was a thing for, like, four or five people, right, for a couple days. That's bullshit. No. I am not buying this at all. No, it totally happened. You go online. Do I thought you were just, just fire challenge. with me and making something up. No, 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 no. I'm not, like, parodying the ALS challenge or anything. I'm telling you this actually happened. People were setting themselves on fire. Are they stunt people? No. Nope. They already know how to do this shit? Nope. It'd just be like people with a camcorder in the bathroom. They'd do it in the sh in the shower so that when they inevitably got caught on fire, that they could then, um, like, shower themselves off. No. You don't believe this? I don't. <laughs> I didn't believe it, and then I saw, like, four videos of it. So, oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. It's MODOK. Flame Knuckle. Flame Knuckle? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, shit. They at least it's Knuckle in the early He's game. not the Flame Snuckle, at it's least. not the Flame Snuckle. <laughs> Double Flame Snuckle. <laughs> Double Flame Knuckle. Uh, yeah. All right. This so guy doesn't have a girlfriend. Let me see what I can do here. What does this do? I don't know what it's doing. Is this just some kind of weird blight bot? So now I'm... It looks like M. Bison. I don't know what I'm doing here. M. Bison and Modok had a baby. Minion, minion, burning. Oh, everything is doing He's resisting uh, damage uh, now. Oh, yeah, just shoot the tank in the back. Make him blow up. Okay. Or or that. So or throw oh. a gun at it. <laughs> throw a gun at yeah, it. Yeah, throw a gun at it. What's hey. up? Hey. Oh. Oh. Yo. So, okay, at this point, 
I set. Are you the? Oh, are you the, the boss That's again? Him. Oh, okay. Shit. He's still running around. Why are you still doing stuff? This shit. He fucking ejected. That's not allowed. <laughs> what was that movie? He was just putting his fists up in there. He's just, uh, he's raising the roof. This is uh, Jed Nelson at the end of Breakfast Club. Yeah. The finishing move. Yeah! Yeah! Dun, dun. Don't you forget about me. You know, I've, I've, I could say, okay, I have seen Breakfast Club, right? Okay. But I've not seen, like, Pretty in Pink or Sixteen Candles. Oh, okay. Um, Sixteen Candles I've seen quite a few times. Yeah. Pretty which in Pink. Eh. Which one's the best? Of like, all those John Hughes movies? Yeah, of the John, John Hughes? Is that his name? John Hughes? I believe so. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Is that Do this again. Club. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I guess, is the best. Okay. I fucking love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, we got the blight bot. Sixteen candles. Oh shit! It it's like summoned a. If you're a teenage girl, it's great. Pretty in pink. If you're a teenage girl, it's great. If you're a guy, it's okay. Holy shit! I summoned this crazy minion. That's what Is I he did. Dancing with and releasing toxic fumes. Yeah, he's dancing and releasing toxic fumes and setting people on fire. Apparently. Do the toxic fumes affect us? Apparently not. Because um, we're a robot. I wish that the cooldown time on this on his power was a little bit less. 40 How long seconds. Does it take? Oh. Was that what it was? You really said guy? Yeah. That was his laughter thing? Uh, no, 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 that was a different that was a different thing. That was a different thing. Uh, okay. um, it's just it's like randomizes, right? Like it brings up all that shit on the screen and then it picks a bunch of them depending on the situation that you're in and puts them together and then just makes a random power happen. Someone was saying that John Hughes wrote Home Alone, but I know Christopher Columbus directed it. Yes. Yes. But did John true. Hughes write it? I believe uh, that is correct. Huh. I believe that is correct. He knows, did he, write, he knows how to make stuff that makes money. Did he write Adventures in Babysitting? Is that, oh, really? Is that, I, don't I don't know. know. Hmm. I liked I that movie as a kid, and uh, I do not think I would enjoy it now. No? I doubt it. Yeah? Maybe. It's very, very dated. Uh, <laughs> the fact that what's her fit that uh, Marty McFly's girlfriend, yeah, uh, yeah. that like her friend is at the bus station in New York, and it's or is was it, it Chicago? Leia Thompson? It wasn't Elizabeth Shue. So it was Leah Thompson. It was Leah Thompson. Uh, I, be I believe. Wow. I believe. No. Nope. I think it was Elizabeth Shue. Was it Elizabeth Shue? Yeah. Uh, so Marty McFly's girlfriend. Yeah, that's, his, no, that's what I said. His girlfriend. His mom. That's what I said. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant. Okay. Um, like her friend is really afraid of urban people in the in the in the bus station. <laughs> Get out of here! We know, her. we know it. They meant. And uh, it was Vincent D'Onofrio that played uh, Thor. Thor. Yeah. For all the all you youngins out there, never seen Adventures in Babysitting, you should go give that movie a shot. He's the best Thor Marvel's ever put out there. That's very true. Oh, shit. That uh, dude, have you seen him lately? Because he's going to play Kingpin in the Daredevil TV show. Vincent D'Onofrio? Yeah. Uh, he's, nope. Uh, Is he put on a bunch now? of weight. He shaved his head. Okay. He looks great as Kingpin. Really? Yeah. Let's go ahead and delete well, some of I, this. They stuff. haven't like, released photo of Kingpin. He looks great for Kingpin. Also. Okay. I haven't seen an official release. Oh, God damn it. But they did have one for Daredevil. Motherfucker. Where he's like all in a black outfit with uh, no eye holes. Really? Yeah, for a Daredevil TV show. Yeah, um, it's a, it's probably like his early uh, prototype outfit, and he's trying to figure out what he wants to wear. Okay, but it, yeah, it's all black with a black bandana thing covering his eyes. And it's kind of cool. The other people were like, "But once someone sees that he has no eye holes, they're gonna know that he's blind." So it's like, who, who would logically ever think, oh, this guy flipping around and fighting people is blind? Yeah. Who would ever think that? That's, that's a little ridiculous. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I, I need to know what happened. I kind of need to know what happened. Like, this guy, he's almost sickeningly good compared to uh, compared to Handsome Jack in, in Borderlands 2. Uh, He's a great guy. Yeah. Some Something tragic happens at the end of this game. Some of these little graphics remind me of... Uh, shit, what was that other game? Uh, Bi Bioshock. Bioshock? Really? Yeah. When, they had, like, when you paused or had that little 
Oh, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the shop? Yeah, the little Monopoly art. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Okay. It's kind of like a little bio Oh, shit. Cards. So we're they're going to put us in a container and shoot us down to the moon. To the moon. To the moon. Domestic right. abuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what that, I love that Futurama episode where they go to the moon and they have the little, like, the history of the moon. And it's like, uh, at the beginning, it's got, uh, was it Ralph or whatever? And he's like, yeah. um, it's got this animatronic version of him. Like, it's a small world. And he's like, long ago, one man had a dream. And he's like, one of these days, bang, zoom, right to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and Fry is like, he didn't want to go to the moon. That was just a metaphor for domestic abuse. <laughs> so wait, if Athena is telling the story, then why is Claptrap here? Um, maybe Claptrap passes on his story for her. He's not much of a storyteller. Yeah. Does he talk? Claptrap? Yeah. Yeah, he's got that high-pitched voice you've been hearing. It's he all talks like this. It's always real chipper. Uh-oh, what's going on here? This is more of these, oh, more of these assholes. More of these guys. I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing there up here. Open fire. They're really pissed off, though. Oh, angry space marines. Burr! You know, those little those little wrist guns don't really seem to be doing a whole hell of a lot for him. You think eventually we'll have space marines? We'll have people that have to, like, fight battles in space? Um, I don't know. Maybe? Oh, shit. Um... I I don't know. We're That's pretty. a good question. I mean, at this point, I don't think that we have any real good reason to be in space. Uh, I mean, I wish I want us to be in space. But for exploration, sure. But yeah. Um, not for battles. Not for Star Wars. Space Wars. Yeah. First, we need deflector shields. Then phasers. Then photon torpedoes. Then we can get this shit going. Then the khakis. That's right. <laughs> Uh, khakis were big for a while. I don't see many people wear khakis anymore. That's a good thing. They got phased out. Hello. That's a good thing, Grant. Yeah. Hello. Khakis are Hello. disgusting like pants. What? Yeah. Saw some photo of uh, women wearing well, khaki no, or no, like no, uh, tan me. colored stretch pants. Uh -huh. And uh, so it was like, or time. yoga pants or whatever. Uh -huh. And it was like, you can't tell if they have clothes on or not. Yeah. Too skin tone. Shouldn't wear that. It was uh, this unappealing picture of a lady. All right, open the door. Boom! And now we're on the moon with Janie Springs. Janie Springs, black, black marketeer. Damn my psychosomatic need for oxygen. <laughs> Wait, is that her voice? No, that's Claptrap. That's Claptrap's that's clap -trap? voice. Yeah, Ugh. that is an annoying voice. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> So wait, I did this part before. Yeah. And okay. Dude, you're really fast. He's got just got a. Uh, oh, he, you can't see it. He's just got a wheel. This way. Um. So you gained on it really quickly. Oh, okay. I see what it is now. Uh, when you said, uh, "Damn, my psychosomatic need for oxygen." Yeah. I thought that he was gonna start because normally you lose your health when you're out here on the moon without oxygen. Oh. Uh. Claptrap does not do that apparently. Because like what we just opened up was like a little oxygen tent, right? Yeah. So yeah. she's trying to get you a little oxygen helmet thing that lets but you he's double not jump. Losing any health. But he's not losing any health. Yeah. He's just a crazy robot. So uh, so far he seems like the best choice to play in this game. Then uh, it kind of depends on. Or he's got that one benefit, I guess. Yeah, kind of depends on. I mean, the, for the most part, uh, most of the characters in Borderlands. Um, it's just about whatever their special attack is, right? Because the main, the other Can main he thing. Jump. Yeah. See, he's got it all. The other thing that we're it's not. It's like the most important thing to have. That we're not seeing when we see in uh, part two will be playing online. Because uh, you play with okay. like three or four other people. Who are you? I am an experimental prototype known as FR4G. Cool. Frag. Frag trap. So what are you doing? So that's what his name is. This isn't clap trap. This is frag trap. To to Why would you say that? Because he said his name was FR4G. Uh huh. So like Claptrap is CLPT or CLP or whatever. CL4P. The Marif? You'll need an O2 kit. Oz kits, we call them. 
to survive the journey, though. Are she Australian? We established a few weeks ago that I can't tell the difference between British and Australia. What do you? Can you, can you grant? Do you know? Let me let me, let me hear. Okay. And clear the place out. Nope, Australian. Australian? Yeah. Okay. Because she said clear. Clear. All right. Instead of the British. Clear. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure it's not just she's not just from like East Britain or whatever? It just seemed like there was an extra. Like it, th she hit both the E and the A. Clear. I want to. I want to hear what they're twanging. Got to clear it out. Yeah, she's Australian. Why? What? What? Why would you make up a word that rhymes with orange? Why not just say orange? No, she said make up a word that doesn't even rhyme like loop did. What? Sing only what you like. And what? if you missed it, I'm the one who said just grab them in the biscuits. What? I have no idea what's going on. You're totally and completely singing, lost me. I'm singing some Humpty Dance. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar. Oh, wait, he says, I'll make up a word that don't mean nothing like loop did. Because uh -huh. he didn't have anything that rhymed with stupid. Okay. <laughs> he was so determined to use that word stupid. Oh, shit. Stupid uh, Kragans. Kragans? Kragans. Okay, let's do this. What do we got Kragans here? are awesome. It's a good point. Melee show. energy, healthful, blight bot. Does that mean our melee energy is like way higher now? Bam! Well, so I like that video games are one of those industries that isn't just trying to make adaptations of everything right now. Yeah. It's a bunch of new stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's there's a lot of there's uh, a lot of sequels. A lot of sequels. There's a lot of sequels. We're playing a pre-sequel right now. A lot of a lot of legacy games. But, yep. But they're still making a lot of new games and Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not all all their sequels it's not like everything is based off of a pre-existing franchise and some other medium. Well, plus, I mean, I I've I've said before that a lot of times we we like to liken video games to movies. We like to make the comparison between the two different things. But the, the main difference of interactivity really does... Uh, oh, smash locks. Okay. Uh, really does make a difference where it's like, if you make the same movie over again, you're going to be passively watching, you know, for another two hours. God damn it. Um, the same I feel like we've played thing. a couple of those games. Uh, <laughs> but with games, at least, you've got the interactivity. So if you were a person who enjoyed the first Borderlands game, yeah. and the second Borderlands game is pretty much just the first game, but it's got a lot more stuff in it, or different classes or things like that, that's perfectly fine, because the part... Whoa! Ah! God damn it! The part where you enjoy the video game still exists, so... Where yeah. The fucking... What the hell? Oh, those motherfuckers. It's just, I think, uh, video games, in terms of originality, I think, uh, remind me a little bit more of, like, books. Yeah? A lot more books. I'm sure Bert, all these books put out sequels. Oh but, uh... A lot more uh, reliant on originality than adapting this TV show to be a video game or adapting this movie. That happens too, but not as frequent as. Well, they. Oh, they pretty much they tried that, and we all just went. No, no, thanks. No, I don't. No, I don't really care. Part of that is that it takes so little time to make a movie, and so they're trying to do that quick turnaround time with a video game as well. But that means that they can't make a good video game, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't do a good video game in that amount of time. Uh, we're just going to stick with the main story mission here. Wait, the, oh, okay. Yep, the Digistruct key for the Zoomy Stations grant. We're getting on it. And Holy shit. What's that? It's 38 minutes. Oh, we're like way over time. Yeah, we're, we're, we're over. All right. Well, uh, tell you what, folks. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to see these videos one day earlier, oh, run that, run it, run it, run it. Run it, uh, run it, run it. Meet Unicycle. Oh, shit. Subscribe look at that. to us on YouTube. Super. Uh, but you can also see it a day early on RageSelect.com. RageSelect.com. Support us on Patreon.com. Give us yep. five dollars or more. Yep. Uh, we'll be your best friends, and, and we'll give you some bonus videos. A bunch of bonus videos. Uh, if you want to buy this game, there should be a link down below to pick this up on Amazon. If you want to buy anything on Amazon, you can pick it up through that link below, and it does help us out. Clear your cash before you click on that oh, link, my and whitelist us in your ad blockers for Please. the site. Thank you. We love you. Uh, Tell us what you guys think. Uh, ah! Comments. Oh my god, there's so many of these motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, we're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to skip ahead a little bit uh, with my other character to give you guys a little bit more of a chance to see what it's like later on down the line. We're also going to leave the, our game type open, uh, so we might get a couple of our friends uh, joining in. Oh Yay! no! Uh, so we will see y'all tomorrow. 
for more Borderlands the pre-sequel. Ow. That was good. What the fuck? Man, I don't know what happened to Handsome Jack, but he is an entirely different person here. Yeah. That he must have had a really bad day. Bad day. That is exactly right. Because he started off as such a nice guy. Yeah, like his wife left him. He and lost his job, maybe? Yeah, and then he was on a carnival cruise line and uh -huh. crashed into the coast of Portugal. And I guess he that happened. fell down onto a car and broke his coccyx. He was <laughs> gang-pressed <laughs> into a donkey show by Holy a bunch of 13-year-olds with Ebola trying it's to sell him to a third world military organization and kept specific. making doing lines of Taco Bell green sauce all the time until That's he delicious. looked in the mirror and he was just a husk of Nicolas Cage. What, uh, who are we talking about again? Are we talking about Jack or her, uh, perhaps someone else? I need to. Are we talking about you? Are those 13-year-olds still over there? 13-year-olds? Yeah, I, I don't want to 